Hello, Tom here from the Dreamcast Junkyard and this is a very brief look at the brand new Gecko from Beha Bros. The same artisanal retro modding outfit that recently brought us the Acura. Now, if I put these two side by side, you can see that one is quite big and one is quite small. Uh, the larger one is the Acura and this is a device that takes the 480p signal from the VJ slot on a Dreamcast uh, or rather the AV slot on a Dreamcast and allows you to use it uh, using a HDMI cable through this port here on a, on a modern TV or monitor. It doesn't upscale, it puts the, uh, the same 480p image that goes in, comes out, but it just allows you to use a uh, HDMI cable. Now the Gecko is the new version, it's quite a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact and has less switches on the side. Basically what these switches do here on the Acura is allow you to add like scan lines and change the thickness of scan lines and that kind of thing. The, the Gecko does away with all of that stuff. Basically all you get here is a switch that goes from RGB to VGA and basically when it's in RGB mode it's taking the 15 kilohertz signal from the Dreamcast. And, uh, and it tricks the Dreamcast into thinking you've just got a standard RGB cable plugged in. When you flip to VGA, I think you get, is it 31 kilohertz signal from the Dreamcast, thus, thus enabling the VGA mode. Uh, and what this little device does is if you've got a game that's not VGA compatible, you can put that in your Dreamcast, have it set to VGA mode. Once the Dreamcast boots, quickly flip it to VGA and it will trick the Dreamcast into thinking that it's still uh, it got a VGA cable attached to it, so sorry, an RGB cable attached to it, so it'll let you play through the HDMI port on your standard sort of HD TV or whatnot. Um, it's not an upscaler, as I say. It's going to put a 480p image on your TV, regardless of what you uh, are playing or what you're playing on. If you want to make it better quality, you need something like an OSSC or a Frame Meister, but that's uh, a subject for another video entirely. Uh, so yeah, obviously this is uh, is just out. Very recently, at the time of recording this video, it's now uh, June, late June 2018, and recently this device came out from Pound Technology. This is the uh, HD Link Dreamcast. There is another video on this channel looking at this thing. This is a very kind of bare bones uh, equivalent to the, the Gecko. Uh, I will show you some comparisons between the two. Uh, this doesn't allow you to, you know, add any kind of uh, RGB or scan lines or anything. If you want that, you, you need the Acura. But uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at what the, uh, the Gecko can do on a normal HD and on a 4K TV. Okay, so now I've got the Dreamcast set up. Here's the, the Gecko on. You can see that it's got the nice blue LED, which actually matches the modded Dreamcast LED I've got here. But that's uh, just a nice little touch I just discovered. Uh, okay, so here we have the uh, the Gecko on the, on the screen. This is a 22 inch Samsung TV. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. You can see it's very nice and uh, and crisp. Looks lovely. Uh, one thing I have noticed that the the Gecko doesn't do that the HD Link Dreamcast does is because of the I don't know if it's superior shielding or what from the Gecko's cable that there's no interference on the screen. There's no like little wobbly lines. Um, give me a second and I'll try and show you what I mean. Uh, but before I do that. I will just show you what it looks like on a big 4K TV because it looks quite similar to uh, the HD Link Dreamcast from Pound actually. Okay, so here is the uh, the uh, Gecko on the big 4K TV. Again, it does have that kind of strange, like almost filter effect on the on the pixels, but that's mainly down to the fact that it's a 4K TV that's not upscaling the image. It's a 480p image. Um, okay, so this camera's probably not the best thing to show you with it. Obviously, it's not your own eyes, so it's not going to be amazing. But on this image, there's no kind of waviness or any kind of interference at all. It might look like there is on this camera because it's a crap camera, but I assure you, there's none of it. And let me see if the camera will pick up what happens when you use the HD Link Dreamcast from Pound. Just a sec. Okay, so now I've switched the, uh, the Gecko for the HD Link Pound or well, the Pound HD Link rather, and I'm hoping you'll be able to see this, but on the screen, certainly kind of in darker areas, you get this kind of like, almost like interference. I hope you can see it, I doubt you can see that, but believe me, it's, it's happening on the screen in front of my eyes, not just on this 4K TV, but also on the smaller HD TV as well. So people have asked in uh, comments on the Facebook group and also on the article that I put about the Pound, 
is it is there going to be any difference in quality? I can categorically say that the the, the HD link um, from Pound is is not as good as the, the the Gecko, and that's because I think it must have better shielding or something. There's no kind of interference on the screen. Uh, I don't know if that's just my TVs, but I'm sure if you buy both, which I'm sure some people might, you'll uh, you'll hopefully be able to see what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is very quick look. It's not a big review or anything for that. Check out the written review on the Dreamcast Junkyard, but I just wanted to show you that the main difference is between the two and what to expect if you do buy either of them. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, and now some uh, now some footage from the uh, the gecko. Fight is ready. Engage. 